The RMS Titanic is one of the most famous ships in history. Its tragic sinking in 1912 left an indelible mark on maritime lore. The ship was touted as unsinkable, a marvel of modern engineering and luxury, yet it met a catastrophic end on its maiden voyage, striking an iceberg and sinking into the icy depths of the North Atlantic. This disaster claimed over 1,500 lives, cementing the Titanic's place in history. The discovery of the Titanic's wreck in 1985 by Robert Ballard reignited global interest. Using advanced technology, Ballard and his team located the wreckage about 370 miles south-southeast of Newfoundland. The site revealed a haunting underwater graveyard. The Titanic continues to captivate the imagination of people worldwide. The Titanic was a floating palace designed with meticulous attention to detail. The ship was divided into 10 decks, each serving a specific purpose. The upper decks were dedicated to first-class passengers, offering unparalleled luxury. The lower decks housed second- and third-class passengers, as well as crew quarters and essential machinery. The ship's layout was a testament to early 20th century engineering. The Titanic was 882 feet long and 92 feet wide, with a gross tonnage of 46,328. It was equipped with advanced safety features, including watertight compartments and remotely activated watertight doors. Despite these innovations, the ship's design had critical flaws that contributed to its sinking. The uppermost deck, known as the boat deck, housed the lifeboats. Below it was the A deck, or promenade deck, where first-class passengers could stroll and enjoy the sea air. The B deck, or bridge deck, featured the ship's bridge and officer quarters. The C deck, or shelter deck, was home to first-class staterooms and public rooms. The ship's grandeur and complexity are still admired today even as it rests on the ocean floor. First-class passengers on the Titanic enjoyed a level of luxury that was unmatched at the time. The accommodations were opulent, with lavishly decorated staterooms and suites. The first-class cabins featured fine wood paneling, plush furnishings, and private bathrooms. Some suites even had their own private promenades. The first-class dining saloon was a grand space, capable of seating over 500 passengers. The room was adorned with ornate chandeliers, elaborate woodwork, and fine china. The menu offered a wide array of gourmet dishes prepared by top chefs. Passengers could enjoy multiple courses including delicacies such as oysters, filet mignon, and pâté de foie gras. The ship featured a swimming pool, a Turkish bath, a squash court, and a gymnasium. There were also several lounges and reading rooms where passengers could relax and socialize. The Titanic also had a band that played music throughout the voyage, providing a soundtrack to the luxury experience. The opulence of the first-class accommodation stands in stark contrast to the tragic fate that awaited the ship and its passengers. Second-class accommodations on the Titanic were a step below first-class, but they still offered a high level of comfort. The second-class cabins were spacious and well-appointed, featuring comfortable beds, wash basins, and electric lighting. Passengers in second-class enjoyed a level of luxury that was comparable to first-class accommodations on many other ships of the time. The second-class dining saloon was a large, elegantly decorated room. It provided a more modest, yet still refined, dining experience. The menu in second class was simpler than that in first class, but it still offered a variety of well-prepared dishes. Passengers could enjoy meals such as roast beef, chicken, and fresh vegetables. The second class library was a quiet, comfortable space where passengers could read and relax. The second class smoking room was a popular spot for socializing. The second class promenade deck provided a space for passengers to enjoy the fresh sea air and scenic views. Third-class accommodations on the Titanic were more modest than those in first and second class. However, they were still a significant improvement over the conditions on many other ships of the time. Third-class cabins were simple but clean, with bunk beds and shared washrooms. Passengers in third class included many immigrants traveling to the United States in search of a better life. The third-class dining room was a large communal space where passengers could enjoy hearty, simple meals. The menu included dishes such as porridge, stew, and bread. For many third-class passengers, the meals on the Titanic were better than what they were accustomed to at home. The third-class general room was a large multi-purpose space where passengers could socialize, play games, and enjoy music. Life in third-class was a stark contrast to the luxury experienced by first-class passengers. Many third-class passengers formed close bonds during the voyage, 
sharing stories and dreams of their new lives in America. The Grand Staircase on the Titanic was one of the ship's most iconic features. It was a magnificent structure spanning seven decks and connecting the upper levels of the ship. The staircase was designed to impress, with its elaborate woodwork, wrought iron railings, and a stunning glass dome that allowed natural light to flood in. The Grand Staircase was more than just a functional element, it was a symbol of the opulence and grandeur of the Titanic. It served as a central gathering point for first-class passengers, a place where they could see and be seen. The staircase was often the setting for social events with passengers descending in their finest attire. The design of the grand staircase reflected the Edwardian style of the time. The wood paneling was made of rich oak and the railings featured intricate ironwork. The grand staircase also played a significant role in the ship's final moments. The staircase, once a symbol of luxury and elegance, became a poignant reminder of the ship's tragic fate. The engine room of the Titanic was the heart of the ship. It housed the massive engines and boilers that powered the vessel. The Titanic had two reciprocating steam engines and a low-pressure turbine engine. The engine room was a marvel of early 20th century engineering. Located in the lower levels, it spanned several decks. The reciprocating engines weighed over 1,000 tons, powered by steam from 29 coal-burning boilers. Firemen worked in grueling conditions to keep the engines running. The engine room was a hive of activity, with engineers and firemen working around the clock. The engine room played a crucial role in the Titanic's final moments. The artifacts recovered from the Titanic's wreckage are time capsules of history. They provide a tangible connection to the past, offering insights into the lives of the passengers and crew. These artifacts range from personal items, such as jewelry and clothing, to larger objects like pieces of the ship itself. One of the most poignant artifacts recovered from the Titanic is a pocket watch found in the debris field. The watch belonged to a passenger and stopped at the exact moment the ship sank, forever frozen in time. This small object serves as a powerful reminder of the human lives lost in the disaster. Another significant artifact is a piece of the ship's hull, recovered during one of the many expeditions to the wreck site. This piece of the hull provides valuable information about the construction and materials used in the Titanic. The artifacts recovered from the Titanic also include items of everyday life. Dishes, cutlery, and personal belongings provide a glimpse into the daily lives of the passengers and crew. These objects tell the stories of the people on board, their hopes, dreams, and the lives they left behind. The stories of the Titanic's passengers add a poignant human dimension to the ship's tragic tale. Each passenger had their own unique story, and the disaster forever changed their lives. These stories range from tales of heroism and sacrifice, to accounts of survival and loss. One of the most famous passenger stories is that of the unsinkable Molly Brown. During the sinking, she helped load lifeboats and encouraged others to stay calm. Her bravery and leadership earned her a place in history as one of the Titanic's most memorable passengers. Another notable story is that of the Strauss couple, Isidore and Ida. When the ship began to sink, Ida refused to leave her husband's side despite being offered a place in a lifeboat. The couple was last seen sitting together on deck, a testament to their enduring love and devotion. The stories of third-class passengers are equally compelling. Many were immigrants traveling to America in search of a better life. The stories of the Titanic's passengers and crew provide a human face to the disaster. The discovery of the Titanic's wreckage had a profound impact on marine research and underwater archaeology. The search for the Titanic pushed the boundaries of technology and led to significant advancements in deep-sea exploration. These technologies have since been used to explore other shipwrecks and underwater sites. One of the key technologies used in the discovery of the Titanic was the remotely operated vehicle, ROV. The ROV allowed researchers to explore the wreck site without the need for manned submersibles. Equipped with cameras and robotic arms, the ROV provided detailed images and allowed for the recovery of artifacts. This technology revolutionized underwater archaeology, making it possible to explore deep-sea sites with greater precision and safety. The use of sonar mapping was another critical advancement. Sonar technology allowed researchers to create detailed maps of the ocean floor, 
identifying the location of the Titanic's wreckage. The discovery of the Titanic also led to the development of new techniques for artifact preservation. The deep sea environment poses significant challenges for the preservation of artifacts, with factors such as pressure, temperature, and corrosion affecting the condition of recovered objects. The advancements made during the search for the Titanic continue to benefit marine research and the preservation of underwater cultural heritage. The Titanic's story continues to captivate the imagination of people around the world. Its tragic fate combined with its grandeur and the human stories of its passengers and crew has made it one of the most enduring tales in maritime history. The Titanic is more than just a ship, it is a symbol of human ambition, hubris, and resilience. The legacy of the Titanic endures, reminding us of the fragility of life and the enduring quest for discovery.